Anupama Chopra and you're watching FC Flash, your weekly source for entertainment news. The headlines this week were all about the battle over directing credit between director Krish and director actor Kangana Ranaut. For those who came in late, Krish was the original director of Mani Karnika, the Queen of Jhansi. But at some point during the project, Krish left and Kangana took over. Now, who directed how much of the finished product has become a cause of contention. Kangana has repeatedly said that she's directed 70% of the film. In the film, her credit comes before his. The producer, Kamal Jain, has stated that there was no hijacking and that when Krish left, Kangana was the best person to complete the film. But post-release, Krish has given a spate of interviews lambasting the actor for stealing his credit. He's also posted screenshots of crew members attesting to the fact that the released film is mostly his work. Kangana is not on social media, but her sister Rangoli Chandel has countered all these claims with another set of screenshots and facts. This is now a Rashomon-like puzzle. Only the principals know what the truth is. Meanwhile, the film has done well with net collections of more than 60 crore in week one. Priyanka Chopra made an exciting announcement on The Ellen Show this week. Her and Oscar-winning director Barry Levinson are developing a feature film adaptation of the Netflix documentary Wild Wild Country. The documentary was based on the Rajneesh cult and how the members built a commune in rural Oregon in the 1980s. Priyanka is slated to play Ma Anand Sheila, the guru's assistant who's a dark and devious Machiavellian figure. Wild Wild Country is both fascinating and frightening. And I, for one, would love to see Priyanka as the femme fatale Ma Sheila. Another leading lady has turned producer. Swara Bhaskar announced the launch of her production house, Kahani Wale. Their first project will be based on the true story of Krishna Sen, also known as Sweetie Sen, a woman who pretended to be a man and married at least two women. I think female artists becoming producers is a healthy trend because one way to improve the content around women is to create it. In other happy news, Sanya Malhotra was selected by the prestigious trade journal The Hollywood Reporter as one of the five talents to watch at the upcoming Berlin Film Festival. The actress stars in Ritesh Patra's new film, Photograph, which will also premiere at the Berlin Film Festival. The editorial said that this might be her chance to cross over internationally. In photograph, Sanya plays a woman who's convinced by a struggling photographer to pose as his fiancée. You can read Rahul Desai's review of the film on the Film Companion website. Our FC South editor Bharadwaj Rangan will be at the Berlin Film Festival this month, bringing you all the latest updates. And producer Ekta Kapoor announced the birth of her first child, a boy named Ravi. That's spelt with an extra E for good luck, I'm assuming. Ravi was born via surrogacy. Ekta posted on Twitter, It's an emotional moment for me and my family and I can't wait to begin this new journey of being a mother to my little bundle of joy. Many congratulations, Ekta. And the social media post of the week is Ranveer Singh celebrating one year of Padmavat with this video. The caption says, Bad man having a good time, Alauddin Chilji. <laughs> What's not to love? That's all for this week. We'll be back next week with more news. Until then, have a great time at the movies.